All right, with this video, we're going to take a look at creating the display styles, the variety of display styles for DWG export, as well as the illustrated black and white and full color sketches. I want to take a look at how to use your styles, your shadow settings, your camera settings, all to produce the standard views that we're going to present, like plan, interior, and exterior elevation as well as perspective. So first thing is, if we take a look at the model that I have right here, if you look into your styles, you have three different tabs, right? And then you have a pull down menu. When you look here, below this line are the collections. These are the default collections. I'll show you later how you can use the properties of any of these styles to create your own. If you look right now in model, you'll see all of the styles that are currently used and defined in my current model. Okay, Some of the styles that we want to create include a simple modeling style. So let's review the properties. You can see here, if I select it, the simple modeling style consists of several different properties. If you switch over to edit, we can take a look at edge settings, face settings, background settings, watermark, and modeling settings. Starting first with the edge settings, you can see that we have edges selected, but then we don't have any of these other options. What this produces are clean, simple lines. If we look at faces here, you can see that right now we have display shaded using, using textures. We don't have to keep it like this, and we could create variations, variations that just show the color or variations that just show uh, monocolor, okay? So in this case, if I want to see the texture, I can just leave it like that. The other property here, as you can see, we have a green background, currently a blue sky. You can see how you can remove the sky to reveal the background. So the background color is going to cover everything. Consider the background color when you're doing uh, something like a sketch, a really simple uh, monochromatic sketch. You can easily change the background, and typically I would use something like white. If we take a look at the watermarks here, there are none for this particular style. And then also for the modeling settings here. You can see that as I select entities, they turn blue. That's the setting I have there. Anything that is locked, for example, turns red. That's the setting I have there. Also, you can see that your guides are black, and you could even change it here to any other color you wish. If we change it like that, you can see the difference there. Okay. Now you also see the properties for the inactive section, the active section, and the actual section cuts. These would be the profiles that are revealed with the section plane. Down below, you can see the reason why I see the guides is because the setting is on. If you didn't check that box, you wouldn't see the guides at all. And so this is why it's a simple modeling style, because while I model, I don't want any special effects but I want to be able to see clean edges, the faces, and the guides, as well as if I zoom out a little bit more here, you should be able to see the axes. Right? See the axes around the corner here? We got the blue, green, red axes. That's why they're being shown here. So this would be the settings, the properties for a basic modeling style. You want to see transparency as well. If you come back here to the uh, face effects, you'll see transparency, which allows you uh, to see through transparent objects. If I turn that off, there is no transparency. Okay. So just think about these properties, these settings. Make a style that's going to be for modeling. Okay. And you'll see here that as I've made changes, every time I make a change here, you can see how I get that uh, that update arrow, right? If I click on it, it'll update the changes. If 
I wanted to make variations, I could just simply use the same style and create a separate style, a whole new style, rename it, and then change more properties. Let's go back here to select, and let's take a look at the other styles that we have too. So, in addition to the modeling style, I'm going to be doing presentations. One of the most common presentations is going to be uh, the orthographic, basic, black and white, no frills, just edges, and not even faces with textures. Okay, And this would be the type of display style you, you'll want to use with your model to export back into AutoCAD or to work with other 2D programs. So here you can see I've already got a style selected or created. What are the properties for that? Well, if I look at edit here, you can see for the edges, I am only showing edges. Notice when I turn on profiles, you can see profiles are basically the bounding edges of certain elements. There's edges, there's edges with profiles. It actually gives you a little bit more depth. In some cases, it would be effective. Other cases, you'll see that when I'm far away, it actually starts to muddy the model. So just be careful when you decide to use profiles. I'm deciding not to. Also, if you take a look at the background here, you'll see I can see through the window because I have transparency. If I were to turn it off, it would be a very simple model style like this, right? Which would probably be more appropriate uh, for use for DWG export. So, for example, you can see I've made some changes here, and if I wanted to update the style this way, I can just click on this button, and now it'll never show transparency. As I continue, you can take a look at the background settings. You'll notice here, if I zoom all the way out, that both sky, ground, everything in between is set to white. And there's actually no sky and no ground for this particular a display style. Again, I'd be using this display style when I'm just trying to export the line work. If you look at watermarks, again, no watermarks. And then the modeling info. Here again, for export, the only thing I want to be showing here, I don't want to show guides. I want to show only section cuts in the case that I'll be using section cuts for interior or exterior elevations. Finally, we go back to select. Now let's take a look at some of the styles that we'll use for presentation. I'd recommend a sketchy style, okay, with black and white, just black and white, that you would use for concept development or concept presentation. If you take a look at the next style here, you can see this one here has the sketchy edges. It's showing the colors and textures, but it also has background effects, all right? So, taking a look at just the black and white here, one interesting way to personalize your sketch look is to actually mix it up. Use some of the existing styles and combine the edges with the face settings to create your own. So for example here, let me just show you the properties for this one. If I go to edit, starting with edges, you can see I'm using an actual stroke. In addition, you'll notice the extensions here. They're pretty extensive. And then the halo. And the halo just provides a little bit of fuzziness around the edges. But it produces an interesting, pleasant effect. And you could adjust this anytime. Okay? You could also change the colors of your strokes. Let's try that again. Right? So there's many opportunities here to really create a personalized display style. As I go on to the faces, you can see it's just using uh, hidden line mode, no transparency. The background here is all white with no sky, no ground. Again, I do not have, while I do show watermarks here, none of them are on. Okay? If I look at the modeling settings here, again, the only thing I want to show is section cuts.
And so let's take a look at how we would create one for ourselves, right? So for example, what I can do is I can just create a blank or a style based on a previous style. If I click here, what I want to do here is rename it. Just use the default name there. And the way that I can create my own style is like this. Switch over to mix. When you're in mix, what you're able to do is you should have a split screen here. If you don't see that, okay, what you'll need to do is you'll need to open up your uh, details. You'll use this button right here. Okay. So while in mix, and you'll notice this is my new style here. So any changes I make will be applied to that style. And as I go to mix, I don't see that anymore. So it's important to make sure you have the right one selected. And then you see all the properties here as value boxes. Okay. Just below that, you'll see all your other collections. So one of the things I like to try to do is take a look at some of the existing sketchy styles, right? And what I'm able to do with this is I can take a look at the thumbnails here. And the way I would like to look at this is like this. Find something that you like or close to what you like. Left click, hold, drag, and then drop it onto the property you wish you wish to apply it to your current style. So for example, this is a pen style that I wish to apply to the edge settings. When I drop it on that, then you'll see the result. You'll also see how your thumbnail shows the update icon. And before saving, if you want to switch back to edit, you can make some changes here. So what I'm looking at here are the edge settings. You'll notice here I can remove extensions, for example, remove halos, add profiles, or even depth cue. Okay, so you can decide to fine tune that as you wish and then make changes. Now, let's say later on you decide I, I don't like how that looks, maybe I don't like the color. You can make changes to that. Okay, if you like it, save the changes. If you don't, you can revert. How do you revert? If I go back to select, notice, right? Here's the style that I'm working with. This one right here. If I click on it again, I've reset it. I put it back to the last saved version of that style. If I go back to mix, I can continue my search and my editing. So let's say I like this blue pen, select, hold, drag, and drop. Now I have this. Okay, so play around with that. Come up with some display styles that you enjoy and think about creating a sketchy black and white or monochromatic one and then a full color one. So for example, let's say we like this one right here, right? What I can do here is just simply save it. Now I want a similar style, but I want all of the colors and textures, including the edges. How would I create it? Well. It's what I have selected right now. So if I hit new style, it duplicates it and it automatically just gives it a new default name. Now what I'm going to do here is this is my presentation two. I'll call it full color style two. Okay. And what's missing? I go to edit. I already got the edges sorted here. If I go to faces, Notice it, that it's just black and white or hidden line mode. But if I turn on shade it with textures, and if I had textures, you would see them, right? And then I can take a look at watermarks. So this is where, for this particular style, right, it's not monochromatic. And possibly, if I don't want to see sky and ground, I could leave it like this, right? Just let it look like it's floating on paper. And that's fine. This could be a, a variation of that, right? You could save it like this. You could duplicate it and you could create a slightly different one that has backgrounds, right? So for example, if I turn on the sky, turn on the ground, okay? What if you don't like this sky? What if you want to borrow a sky or a ground from another style? Let's take a look at that. 
we'll want to use mix again down below you might want to take a look at default styles you can see there's representations of different skies different grounds let's say we like this one here and we want to use the ground setting click hold drag just put it on background you got a new sky a new ground try a different one new sky new ground okay and you could try this with any number of these uh, different styles notice here with the uh, blueprint right it's a totally different feel so you can play around find out what you like and then save your styles also you can use masking and watermarks so once again if I wanted to keep this style I can duplicate it and then make a new one and then make some changes uh, some of the existing styles that have watermarks you'll see here in assorted styles you can see this one right here the uh, PSO vignette PS snow if I wanted to use some of these watermarks, what I would do is just select, drag, and drop right onto watermark settings. Give it a moment, and you'll see the effect. Now notice, again, this is why you want to do a simple modeling style, because you don't want to use these styles while you're modeling. Okay, These are only going to be when you're ready to make the scene, right? when you're ready to set up the camera and save the scene. This would be one of the last, the last things that you change is the style, right? So if we go back here to edit, we take a look at our watermarks. There's the watermarks there. Now to actually see them, turn them on. And there you go, okay? Now if I wanted to save it like this, I'd go ahead and update the style. Cool. So we we've taken a look at how to create multiple display styles for a variety of purposes. The other thing I want to talk about includes lighting and shadow. So let's take a quick look at that.